What's up Laravel developers, it's Dari here and I hope that you're having a great day. In this video, I want to show you how we could send SMS notifications in Laravel. Now before I continue on with the video, I want to quickly let you know that you can support the channel through Patreon, which is linked in the description down below. You will get some pretty cool benefits such as a private Discord group where everyone is helping each other out and you can decide the next video series that I'm going to make through polls. So if you are interested to join, the link is in the description down below. You've probably run into web apps that send you a SMS notification whenever you try to log in. Or think about the delivery company in your country that sends an SMS notification whenever they are near you to drop off a product that you have ordered. There's nothing built into Laravel that does that for you, but you could use a package called Nexmo. And before I continue on, this video is based on the documentation of Laravel and the package that we're going to use, called Nexmo. You can easily pull in Nextmo through Composer, but you do need an account later on in order to work with their package, since you need their API credentials. For now, let's navigate to the CLI and perform the Composer require Laravel forward slash Nextmo dash notification dash channel command. Let's hit enter. And as you can see, the Nextmo notification channel has been pulled in. Nextmo is an API-based application that will connect your application directly to any carrier around the world. With Nextmo, you can do way more than just sending SMS messages. Think about automated Facebook notifications, voice messages, verified transactions, or implement a two-factory authentication. If I could give you my honest opinion, it's very important to get a good understanding of Nextmo since you will definitely run into it later on in your career. The next step is to publish your vendor directory. So let's say php artisan vendor colon publish. Now you can see a couple options right here of what you want to publish. Now on my screen, number 10 is Nextmo. So let's say number 10, hit enter. So we have copied the nextmo.php file from the vendor and we have placed it in forward slash convict forward slash Nextmo. So if we open our Nextmo file, let's go to convict. You can see a file that has been added right here called nextmo.php. And right here, you can see API key and API secret. This will make sure that it looks inside the env file to find our secret key and name that we're going to add. If it does not exist, it will print out nothing. So let's set up our nextmo account. Let's go to Google Chrome. Let's open a new tab and go to Google. Right here, let's write down nextmo. And we need the second link or the first one, nextmo to developers.nextmo. In the Vonage API developer section, you will see a lot of different notifications that you could use with nextmo. SMS messages, voice messages, programmable videos, and way more. So what we're going to do is to click on start building for free. And what you need to do is to create an account. As you can see, a pretty cool thing is that you don't need credit card requirements. So it's free for everyone. Once you log in, you will get an email that you need to verify before you continue on. So pause the video, set everything up, and I'll see you back on the dashboard. If everything went right for you, you'll be sent to the Nextmo dashboard as you can see on my screen right now. Under the Getting Started tab, you can see an API key and an API secret, which we do need in a second. What we need to do first is to, well, we could actually copy our API key, go to Visual Studio Code, open the .env file, at the bottom, all right. Let's create a new variable at the bottom of our page called nextmo underscore key. And be aware that the name needs to be equal to the name that we're using in our nextmo.php file, right here. Close it. Let's set it equal to the variable that we just copied. Now let's create nextmo underscore secret. I'm not gonna show you my API secret key. Copy it, paste it right there, and I'll be back in a second. I've closed off my env file so you can't see it anymore. Now the next step is to create a controller. Since we need to have a new endpoint that will send an SMS whenever that endpoint will be hit. Whenever you log in somewhere, you'll be redirected to a new endpoint with a piece of text on your screen which says that you need to verify your account first. So let's navigate to the CLI. We need to create a new controller for our SMS messages. So let's perform a php artisan make me a controller called SMS controller. Hit enter. Our controller has been created. We're going to get there in a second to write our logic, but for now, we need to define our route first. 
So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Let's open the web.php file. And let's say that we want to route colon colon get. Our first param is the endpoint of the URL. So single quotes for slash SMS, comma, brackets. We're going to pass in the controller that we just created. So let's say SMS controller, colon colon class, comma, method is called index. Right now, we are ready to work on the logic of our SMS message. We haven't defined a method inside our SMS controller. Let's close off our web.php file. Let's open the SMS controller, create a public function index. And in here, we need to define a couple things. First, we're going to pull in the nextmo class. So let's write down nextmo. Let's pull it in in the use statement, call and call in, message. And we're not going to do anything inside the message method, but we're going to create a new method called send. The send method accepts an array. So let's add brackets and hit enter. And be aware that you pull in the nextmo larval vacate nextmo. Now in here, we need to make sure that we pass in three values. Now the first one is called two, which will be the phone number that will receive the SMS. So let's say receiver, comma. The second one is from. So the sender, comma, and the last one is text. Now this will be the text inside the SMS. So let's say test SMS. Just to prevent some issues myself, I won't be adding my phone number since I actually want to keep that private. Right after our next more message, we could basically say echo out a message sent. I will add a screen recording on the screen right now where you see that we received an SMS message. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the country code. So in my country, it's usually plus 316, where my number starts with. Just get rid of the plus, and that will do the work for you. This was it for this video, where we added an SMS notification to our application. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.